So in this video, we're going to talk about Cilio, how you install it, how to use it. We're going to go over a bunch of things about Cilio. But first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. You will need to be jailbroken on the Electra Jailbreak iOS 11. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is going to work for iOS 12 once the jailbreak is available. But first things first, we're going to launch up Cilio. <laughs> we're going to launch up Cydia. And then um, you should have this repo installed already. So yeah, this is the repo right here. This is the Electra repo. Um, and once you do that, you want to tap on all packages and you're going to just look for Cilio. Now, normally you're going to see it on your updates, but just in case if you don't see it, we're just going to search it up right here and it's right here. You just tap on the beta. It is still in beta, but I'm pretty sure, you know, it's going to be constantly updated to improve the user experience. And we're going to just tap on install. Now, I already have it installed already. Um, and then there you have it. You have you install Cilio. And just make sure you do any kind of updates to the substrate because that's very, very important too as well. Now, let's take a look at Cilio. I hope I'm saying the name right. This is the new Cydia, basically. Um, you know, this can easily replace Cydia. It is basically a Cydia replacement. And I got to say, it looks more modern. It matches the iOS 11 and iOS 12 user interface. It looks similar to the App Store. You even have, like, your account here. So you can browse through your account. So that's pretty cool. You can log into the Cydia store. And you see the future, um, the future content. So you have a bunch of um, themes, um, a bunch of well-known tweaks like Short Look, which is one of my personal favorites. And yeah, you, you see what's hot. You see the popular packages. So it's a lot more. It's just a lot more modern compared to Cydia. Um, if you just go back to Cydia, I mean, like, I mean, come on, look at this. This is the homepage of Cydia. It just looks out of date. It just doesn't look friendly at all. I mean, if you've been jailbroken for years, you know how to use Cydia already. But um, Cilio, if you're a new jailbreaker, you're gonna you're gonna appreciate this design. So now, yeah, so this is the feature. So this is as soon as you launch the app. Now on the bottom, I have another tweak. This is where it just hides the name. So yours might look a little different. This is your news. So this is all the updates happening to Cilio. And the next up is sources. So these are all your repos that you can add. Um, it's the same thing. You tap on edit and then you can tap on the plus and you can add your very own source just like that on the fly. So that's pretty cool. And it's just like city once you tap on one of these you get you have a uh, different um, folders here so we're going to tap on all categories and you can install whatever tweak you want within that source and you can even view all packages if you want so it's just like city but it's just a lot more cleaner now here these are your packages installed now one thing i really do wish that um Cilio can add or whatever developers i think coolstar is um developing this app or I don't know in charge of this i wish you can like see your latest install tweaks so here are all your installed tweaks but i wish somehow you can organize it to the the most recent tweak you install all the way down now let me just show you guys what i mean by that is all right so here on cydia you have your recent so your recent is here so january 1st i updated or reinstalled short look you know it has a nice date it has a time frame but with Cilio I can't there's no option for it you have user power user and you have developer if they could add another tag or another column that has recent that would be pretty cool because that's always important maybe there's a tweak that's not working and you don't know what was your last tweak that you install you might want to be able to have that tab to help you out now swipe for more isn't working hopefully they can add that and as you guys can see, I have an update. I purposely didn't update Colorflow because I want to show you guys how the update process works. Um, you can tap on update all and obviously that will update all the packages that needs to be updated or and now delete doesn't mean delete it, the tweak. It means remove it on the queue or you could tap on it. You could tap on modify and you can tap on up, upgrade and then that's it. Now, of course, last but not least, you do have your search, so you can search up any package. Um, the first thing that comes to mind, swipe selection. That's always a staple tweak in my opinion, but it's slowly but surely not getting popular for me. Just because of the iPhone 10, you can 3D touch the keyboard. You can actually move the cursor just like that. Let me zoom in. This thing is not even in focus. There we go. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you want to install a tweak, you just tap on it, and you can tap on Get. 
and then now it's added to your queue. It's automatically a queuing system and no need to have multiple taps. And that's how you install a tweak and I have my color flow as an update and it actually shows you what's going on. So let's say I want to remove a tweak. Now let's say I want to remove Navaway. I'm going to tap on it. You can tap on modify, tap on uninstall and just like that. And they even have a little video here. Is this a video? What is this? Well, <laughs> it's still in beta, so give it some patience. It's supposed to be a banner on the top there. It shows what exactly the tweak is doing. You know, it just shows a more descriptive um, on what the tweak can do. Pictures, I wish you can tap on it to have it full screen so you can see what's going on. Um, but hey, this is, this is a good start. This is a cool start. At any time, you could tap on the Q right here, three packages. And you can see what's going on so we're going to tap on continue or confirm i mean or you can even clear it right there on the bottom but we're going to confirm it and i'm going to show you guys how fast and quickly it installed look it's done that's it that wasn't even like a second that was probably a millisecond um and yeah this is a tweak called you respring i still have it installed and yeah and that's another tweak too called fast unlock and yeah let's just confirm that it works Wait, what did I just install? That always happens to me. I always forget what I installed. So I uninstalled Navaway. I don't see it here. There's no options here. So that's removed. I updated color flow. So I'm not sure what changes. So you can go into the change logs very, very easily. And yeah, it's just basically a bunch of uh, fixes, crashes, and you know, it has an option to disable the shuffle and repeat buttons to give it a more neat look. All right, so lock screen, as you guys can see, it did update because now you can add the shuffle and repeat button just like that on the fly. It works so fast. It respring so fast. Cilio, I, I, that's the nail in the coffin. That's the nail in the coffin for um, Cydia, I would say. And that's pretty much it. It's very, very easy to use. There's certain features I feel like it needs to add, but this is a great, this is a strong way to start off. Um, even though the iOS 12 jailbreak isn't available yet, I'm pretty sure this is this is easily going to take over Cydia. Cydia is going to be no more. Um, and that's crazy to say because we've been using Cydia or whoever been jailbroken for years been using Cydia for a decade now. And this, I'm going to just show you guys how slow Cydia is to uninstall a tweak. Let's say, for example, I want to uninstall Swipe Selection. Now, I, I wouldn't say it's going to be slow, slow, but... Like you get error messages like I don't know I just don't like the city a city is just so outdated that's basically what I'm trying to say city is outdated and I think maybe because I have Cilio installed you can't use Cydia I don't know but Cydia is kind of and, and it took forever to uninstall but it did uninstall though I can't find it here on my install column here so guys thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate all of your support on my jailbreak videos like i said before i know apple is not gonna like these kind of videos i think apple is gonna hold an event in march to refresh the ipad the um 329 ipad um but hey i'm probably never gonna get invited by apple but hey anyway i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like on the video if you guys did find this video informative um subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on and comment down below if you have any questions about Cilio, I'll answer them as soon as possible. The iOS 12 jailbreak, I'm pretty sure is around the corner, um, but this is a great way to start off the iOS 12 jailbreak once it becomes available.